What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy, yes, welcome back to another Madden 2-5 online rank match. And today, we have the New Orleans Saints going up against the Denver Broncos. Two of the top QBs in the league. Two of the best passing offenses that the game has to offer. Of course, I'm looking to pass minimal. Zip, zilch, nada, zero. Uh, another word for zero that I can't think of right now. <laughs> but I'm definitely thinking of being able to have success uh, running the ball. And the least I got to pass, the better. So uh, I already know I'm going to have a tough time on my hands, you know, dealing with the Denver Broncos offense. So many weapons, so many things to try and, you know, key in on that um, he can go anywhere. You know what I mean? So uh, hopefully we can just do what we always do, right? Um, have success on offense and just hope for a mistake from him offensively and try to capitalize on it. So, of course, you know, Darren Sproles is, you know, somebody I want to give the ball to a lot. Very agile, very quick. You know, uh, very, you know, good speed. So, I'm trying to get him in open space just like that. You know, just be able to swerve on in to the outside. So, right here, first and 10, man. We look and we give it to big boy Jimmy Graham Cracker. And why else would I even want to pass anywhere else? Anytime I drop back the pass, which shouldn't be that much. But, one, you know, one, one to two or three times I need to pass. I'm definitely looking for Jimmy Graham. So, first and 10, we hit that outside. And uh, we are the break and tackle. Look at my main man, Mark Ingram. And that outside, man, right here. We go back to Spros. And we get that whoop, <laughs> that quick little juke to the inside. Second and four, we try to read option. And that goes absolutely nowhere. And our quarterback gets injured. Third down, I tried a uh, quick screen. But I get sacked before I could even get it off. That's the one thing that's frustrating about screens and pistol is that uh, you're not in shotgun. You know what I mean? So I'm not six yards back. I'm more like three and a half yards back. So uh, screens, you got like almost a second to get rid of the ball. That's about it. You don't have much time. Where a shotgun, you got like two seconds to get rid of the ball before they get to you. Pistol, not so much. They're there quick, bam, in a hurry, immediately. You know what I mean? So uh, we take our field goal up 3-0. Now, you know, uh, on defense, I'm just looking to see if I can, you know, uh, pick up his pattern on offense, right? Like that's all you want to do. Stopping somebody in the first drive, even though he stopped me. <laughs> It's something that's not easy to do, you know, because because they're unveiling unveiling their offense for the first time. So you just want to pick up their tendencies. You want to see what their go-to. It's a fumble! Oh my goodness! Oh my damn! Oh my goodness! Over that tackle man, that damn hard is going to him. That right there was such a hard as it. He died. Moreno shouldn't even be alive on halftime. They need to bury him on the fifty-yard line. He's done. He's dead. Huh. Right here, I definitely made a mistake by not even attempting a run. I throw an interception right there, and as soon as I threw the pick, I was like, damn, you know, I didn't even run the ball. My fault, just coming out pass heavy just because I got myself a turnover. Shouldn't have done that. My mistake. I need to always play my offense, do the run. That's how I've been this year. So, right, he goes for a play action, but thankfully we get a sack over there by Curtis on the left side. Curtis! Right there, he drops the pass right there. But was that Trenton Holiday? Uh, so, third and 20 right here. He goes back towards the same route, but... Um, incomplete pass. So uh, we stop him again. And, you know, this time it's like, okay, we need to put something on the board. This time I need to make sure I run the ball this drive and, and hopefully get myself a touchdown. Give me that multiple possession lead, though. So Drew Beasy breaks up, and we go to Jimmy Graham. And he goes, go to the outside. We got pancakes over here, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. And he gets all the way to about the, what is that, 30, 40 yard line? I don't know, yeah, 40, we'll go to 40. Right, he's a hand up to the outside, and then we got Sproles, and he just, ah, just get. He just nipped the ankle right there. So we go back to the same run, the same side. And this time we got a different run. There's so many runbacks. We got Pierre Thomas. We got Sproles. We got Ingram. There's so many different running backs. So many options. I don't even know who's in at what time. So excuse me if I get a name wrong. Just too many of them good running backs. So second and 11, we hit that outside. It's a fumble. And I'm like, damn, damn, damn. I'm like, wow, man. We fumbled in the red zone. Definitely a frustrating thing. He gets the ball at halftime, so he could possibly go downfield, score, get ball at halftime again, score again. And now I'm down like 14 to 3. And I'm like, oh, that sound you make when you sign that guy. But it's an interception. Look at the concentration of a man man lost in any good. Go. Oh, the way. As you go into the end zone and we get a defensive touchdown, I'm like, yes. Great. Fantastic. Amazing. Unbelievable. Uh, Words that are similar to those. So right now we are up 10-0. to And we all know how my defense gets before halftime. We all know. It's proven fact. 
that my defense before halftime is that equivalent of a Tropicana juice uh, juice container. So right here, man, he decides to hit me with a five wide screen on back to back plays. Oh, oh no, excuse me, on back to back to back plays. And I'm thinking to myself, you gotta be kidding me! Like three screens in a row. And of course that's frustrating because now every time he comes down to five wide, I gotta start adjusting for the screen. I gotta put contains over there and light blues. And then when he doesn't call a screen, I have unnecessary, you know, defensive routes that's trying to cover the screen and it's just unnecessary. You know, if he comes down to five wide and I put contains and light blues on that side and it's not a screen, now I just got unnecessary light blues over there instead of covering real routes. You know what I mean? So it's frustrating. So he picked up on that. He knew immediately, like, okay, you know, the screens worked a little bit. And another interception paid me. He's like, let me throw this dot mm, to the ball. And we're like, oh, White's like, thank you. Come again. Give it to me, baby. I don't stop the you get enough for Shimona. And then we get a run to the outside and we get into the end zone. And we end up scoring our first of the touchdown of the game right now. We are up 17 to 3. I'm thinking, hey, this game is going pretty good. If we get ourselves another stop, we can possibly score another touchdown. Go up 24 3. Then game should be over at that point. Maybe Sunday can see it and it's over. So right now, here we go back on defense. Let's see what we can do. Wide well, receiver screen. And I'm like, really? Like I said, he picked up on it. He knew that he was messing with me a little bit by doing it. He no huddles reversed, but this time I had a light blue on that side. Prepared for it. Again, he drops back, throws right up the seams. Good pass by Peyton Manning, throwing dots right there to trend it. Another wide receiver screen. I'm like, you know what? I want to break something at this point. I hate, you know, like I run screens. I can't say I, I don't hate screens because, you know, I, I understand why people run screens, but you know, he he's called about 12 of them so far. And I just hate when, you know, uh, he right there, another interception by Curtis, and he could go ah the boy, whoop, jump right into the end zone, and we go 24 to 3. And uh, like I was saying, man, what sucks about screens is that when I don't prepare for them, bam, it's a screen. I'm frustrated. I'm like, you suck, you bum, even though not really just a good play call by him because it worked, right? And then next play, I'm like, oh, he's not going to call another screen. Bam, another screen. I'm like, yo, you bastard. Okay, I'm going to prepare for it. I'm going to put this light blue over here. I'm going to put this little contain over here. I wish you would run a screen. I wish you would. And then he doesn't run a screen. And now the middle of the field is wide open like a donut. Look at this users, though. He tried to catch me off guard. Whoa, look at the users. We came in to try and prepare for the PAT block, and I seen my screen change. And there's only one reason that your screen is going to change. And that means it's a fake. So I ran back and we snatchies. Grab that. So right now at this opportunity, all I really want to be able to do is kill the clock. Run the ball. Time is his enemy. You know what I'm saying? We keep the ball away from him. The more, the better it is for us. Injury timeout, of course. That's up to clock right. But right here, he tried him a quick little man-to-man. -man and you don't play man against me. You don't play zone. Just don't even play defense against me. You have no chance. <laughs> But um, he tried. look at Drew Brees. Oh, Tyro, ah, stand inside, Drew. Come on, son. Come on, son. Right here, man. We go to play action. We go deep up top to Morgan. Wide open. Well, not wide open, but he had the advantage, and he drops a touchdown pass. Right here, possibly could have been a touchdown. Easily 25, 30 yards holding. So we drop a touchdown. Next play, we get a 30-yard run that was negated by a holding. I went out of bounds because I knew it was holding. You know what I mean? So... Uh, third and 15, I drop back and we reroute Sproles right here. And we end up finding him. Uh, he falls forward. And what's very frustrating about this, let me tell you why I'm frustrated. Tell him, GS. Oh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why I'm frustrated. They actually suggested that I kick a field goal, right? So, okay, let me go on ahead and kick the field They suggested it. And then what happens? I'm short. I'm like, why would you suggest I kick a 56-yard field goal if my kicker can only kick 11 feet? Come on, son. Right there, I'm in position to get the pick. Come on, son. Jump. Put your hands up. Act like you're going to try and make a play. Try and stop it. I don't know. Don't let the football reach its destination. That's your defensive job, to stop the football from reaching its destination. You didn't stop the football from reaching its destination. Right now, 24 to 17. I was up 24 to 3. Now it's 24 to 17. Fourth quarter. Now I'm nervous. I'm like, man, we get to stop. I got to give him the ball back. I don't know if I can trust my defense at this point. So, okay. Kill the clock. Relax. Take my time. Let's go mm, 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 deep inside that middle. Because right now he's preparing for the outside runs. And now that makes it easier for me to run up the middle. So we're trying to we're trying to adjust to his defensive play call. He's adjusting to my runs. So I'm trying to adjust his defense. And right there, look at my main man squeeze right through all that defenders right there. And instead of scoring, I feel like, you know what? Let's do the smart thing. Let's kill as much time as possible. Great run by Pierre. 
Fullback dive, I don't even want to score. Now, this is the situation where I'd rather take all his timeouts or kill as much time as possible and kick a field goal. Going up 14 or going up 10, there's no difference. I'm still up two possessions. So I took all of his timeouts. That's great. That's fantastic. I'm happy the way that, you know, ended. You know what I'm saying? It was either him waste his timeouts or him watch that clock drip down as much as possible. So he wasted all of his timeouts. I go up 10, and now I'm thinking, fantastic. This is the position I want to be in. You know what I mean? So now he's going to need a score and a two-point conversion in order, um, I'm sorry, and an onside kick. In order to make something happen. Because he really hasn't stopped me. You know what I'm saying? Besides the interception and the fumble, I've been able to move the ball and all of them just by running the ball. You know, so I feel confident, you know, I can get the ball and run on him right there. Oh, man. He snatched that right in front of me. And this time, again, he backs up and he goes to the same route. And I'm like, all right, if he does again, it's snatched. But there's no way he's going to go to the same route again, right? Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please. Give that gentleman a link to my channel. Let him know. Do not throw the ball my way, but on the same possession. It's a fumble. And he recovers. And I'm thinking to myself, you got to be kidding me. Why would I call the read option at that point in time? Why? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. I swear. I just don't know. So a little um, more than two minutes remaining. He backs up. Throws a dot right over um, in between a couple of saints. So right now, he needs to go on ahead and get an onside. He thinks he was slick by coming out and... Um, what is the pooch kick, man? What is the name? The squib kick. And uh, thankfully, I audible quick enough. And that's it. That's the end of the game, man. He was better off with an onside, but he was thinking he could kick it before I could adjust. And uh, no, no, no. We adjust. And uh, we pass the two-minute warning. So with no timeouts, we just kneel the ball. He couldn't stop it. So that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Links are in the description. My Twitter, follow that. You know, uh, my t-shirt shop, I got onesies, I got mugs, I got long sleeves, I got sweaters, I'm working on thongs, I'm working on, you know, mustard bottles, I'm working on, you know, everything you can think of, I'm working on clocks, I'm working on GS pillowcases, I'm working on GS socks, I'm working on, you know, computer covers, I'm working on wipes, all that stuff, all that stuff is in the description, scroll down in the description and click on something, damn it, it's your boy GS and I'm out, peace. Give it to me, baby.